And there is a break in the case of a hit and run driver that has a young girl now fighting for her life in a Philadelphia hospital. Well, police say they have identified the owner of the vehicle they believe was involved in yesterday's crash in Olney. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live at police headquarters with the latest developments. Good afternoon, Alicia. Good afternoon, Rahel and Jimmy. Yeah, police gave us an update a little while ago on this case. First saying the nine-year-old girl is still in critical condition today, but that on the investigation side, there is better progress. As you mentioned, authorities now know who the driver of the vehicle in question is, but they're still trying to figure out if that driver was behind the wheel when this hit and run happened. In a news conference a little while ago, police now confirm they have in police possession the vehicle that struck nine year old Fatima Hunter Monday on Lindley Avenue. It was found parked on the 5100 block of Hutchison Street yesterday at 6 30 p.m. According to investigators, someone who saw a photo of the vehicle on the news at 6 p.m. spotted the vehicle and called 911. Now at 7 30 yesterday, police say the owner of the Cadillac made contact with authorities. The 51 year old female owner lives in the area where the hit and run happened, but authorities are still trying to determine if she was or was not behind the wheel of the Cadillac when it was captured on surveillance video, hitting the nine year old and then leaving her there on the side of the road. Police are relying on forensic measures to determine that a little frustrating for investigators who feel the driver, whomever they are, knows what they did and should just do the right thing. There's no question. It'd be hard to convince me, almost impossible, that the person didn't know they struck the bike. Because remember, the bike stayed on the hood of the car and didn't dislodge from the hood for until about a half a block later. There's no way you didn't know you hit at least the bike. Um, and so, yes, it would be optimal for someone to just say, that was me. Uh, but again, uh, we'll, we, we'll, we'll take what we can get and work with what we have. And authorities say the media coverage, people coming forward as a result, that has been vital in the progress of this investigation so far. That's why they're putting more information out, hoping that people continue to come forward. This time, though, perhaps someone who may have seen who was in the driver's seat of that Cadillac at the time this hit and run happened. Live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.